Hello and welcome. I am Scrapperlock, and this is Satisfactory Early Access Update 3. This is our fourth episode, and I did a little bit of exploring, and I've gathered a bunch of wood and a bunch of leaves and some bacon agaric. And I also found this interesting little sphere over here. But before we uh, sort of go toward it, we're going to need to get rid of the insects that are guarding it. So let's go ahead and pull them out. Now that sphere is something, I'm not sure what it's going to be. It's a work in progress, I believe. So it's not necessarily going to, it's not necessarily going to benefit us very much, but I figured we may as well. And Ada's is going to talk to us, I believe. See, it says, work in progress. I'm surprised Ada hasn't spoken to me about this. Here it is. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. And then what she does is, if you don't harvest it and you keep standing near it, she starts really trying to harass you into taking it. you to harvest this artifact. Our contract legally compels us to harvest the artifact. And now we've got it. Can't do anything with it. Because that's part of the game that hasn't been worked on yet. But in any case, I explored a little bit. I don't want to do a huge amount of exploring because we don't have beacons yet. So we can't lay beacons down to mark where things are. And so mostly what I wanted to do was get a bunch of biomass which we now have, and we can now craft a bunch of biomass. I also found some Caterium. Caterium ore is like gold and works as wiring. So that should also be potentially useful in the future. It said in the... the voice of Ada said we could research it, but we need the MAM first, and so we've got to do some more research. Let's get our biomass going. And this way we can sort of re-up the biomass fuel in our biomass burners. And then I'm going to go ahead and probably manually make 300 screws. Because we have should have all the plates and the copper wire we need to get to our next milestone. Okay, we'll take that one leaf out of the way because we don't really need that. And then... Let's see, let's top off our burners. And they're doing quite well. So these are all topped off at the same time. You can see that this one has drained further down, and that's because it, um, it just produces more energy, but it burns faster. I kind of wish it didn't do that. I kind of wish they all burned at the same rate, just because it makes it a little bit of a pain that they need to be refilled at different times, which is kind of annoying. But, you know, obviously you can deal with it. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to make all this biomass, and then we're going to do our field research. So for exploring, you need a couple things. You need beacons, for sure. And then the other thing you want is foundations so that you can build ramps to things so that you can get up and down different levels. And so I'm going to want to do that as well. All right, so we have all this extra biomass now. Quite nice. And we're now out of space for it. Let's go ahead and um, work on this milestone. So we need plates, which I can grab from here. You can see we're making a lot of them now. We need rods, and I'm going to get couple things of rods so that we can make screws. And then we're going to need copper wire, which is over here. And that should be enough. There's the wire, there are the plates, 
And now we just need to make 300 screws. So one rod in three hits makes four screws. So basically we're going to have to do about, I don't know, 200 uh, progress bars from one side to the other. So it's coming along pretty quickly. We've already got 72. won't take too long. Now I won't bother to pause the video because we're already a third of the way there. But we definitely want to start making screws. So the next thing we want to do is, as soon as possible, we want to get splitters. And then we can start splitting the ore and making multiple um, smelters from each ore plant. But again, before we do too much of that, we need more power. So we're going to have to be able to make more biomass, which means we're going to need the uh, chainsaw. So this is the thing. You, you're never... Until you get to the point where you have coal power plants and you can actually power everything with coal, you're really always kind of behind the eight ball in terms of being able to make what you need. And you can never make everything you need all at once. So now, if you watch this. To ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner and beacons. So, Note, the object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. So, that spaceship is going to take a load of stuff into orbit, and it's going to come back in two minutes. Meanwhile, we can build the MAM. And we're also going to need to build another workshop, because remember I took that down last time. So we need some cable, and we need some reinforced iron plates. So let's make some screws. So that we can make reinforced iron plates. And the MAM is the research machine. So it does automatic research of barrel nuts and caterium and things like that and it creates a research tree. This is actually somewhat new. They um, they changed it from the way it was before update 3, last time I played. So where do we want to put these guys? We've kind of got some space over here. So let's go ahead and put them just out here for now. Um, so there's the MAM, the Molecular Analysis Machine. And then we'll put the workshop next to it. And, and we now have the ability to make personal storage boxes. I always try to put one right there. And then I'm going to put one over by the biomass. And we're going to put all of our biomass in there. So now we're not going to need to keep as much stuff in here. Because we're going to keep our biomass over here. And all of our research materials things that we're going to be researching, like green slugs and eventually the sphere and bacon agaric and criterium and all that stuff. There we go. All this stuff is going to be researchable in the MAM. So here's the research tree. And what you do is, as you research each thing, it unlocks other stuff. So for example, we can research the carapace. We have seven, we need one, and we can research it. And now that unlocks making biomass with the carapace. But I want to show you, New here comes in the our sh shuttle. Okay, we can also research the organs. Exchange concluded. Fix it freighter re-entry complete. Right, and we can make biomass out of them as well. Caterium. Do we have enough? We do. So now we will be able to scan for caterium. Right, and then we're going to need to make caterium ingots. To do that, we're going to need 50 caterium, so we're going to have to find a caterium deposit. So we can't really use that any further. Let's go ahead and put the caterium and the organs, I guess, away. Now we can research the power slugs as well. And flower petals I don't have in my hands. 
So we can research bacon agaric. And that's going to take a few minutes, so we'll leave the rest of this stuff here. And now we are at least done with that level of research. Now in the workshop, we can now create beacons. And I want to make a bunch of those for exploration. So let's make 20 beacons. So we're going to need cable, we're going to need wire, and we're going to need iron plates. We have all of that stuff except the cable. So let's go ahead and make cable until we have enough. And then I'll go get another stack of wire and plates, and we can make beacons. Now, beacons can be automated as well. You can make them in assemblers, I think, or manufactories. I'm not really sure, but you can, you can automate the, the manufacture of nearly everything. It just depends on what is required to make it. So beacons, if beacons need cable, iron rods, iron plates, and wires, you need something with four inputs to make a beacon, right? And most people don't need beacons by the time they have manufacturing plants that take four inputs, so they don't bother to manufacture them. But you can if you want. Here we go. So we've now made 20 beacons, and these things, when you put them down, then leave a mark on your compass. Now you may be wondering, isn't there a map? There is. I think it's tier 4 or tier 5. There's an exploration milestone you can get, and if you look down, down here, there's an empty box that's going to be the Z key, and the Z key will bring up the map, but right now it doesn't do anything. Okay. So let's see what our next milestone shall be. We can get... Um, foundations, that's pretty good. We just need rods, concrete, and plates. We should be able to do that very easily. Another thing we're going to want is obstacle clearing. And we're going to want to do that fairly soon. But let's get tier 1 taken care of first. We can do that very easily. We're going to go ahead and get this, and then we will be able to go out exploring. Right? And the reason I want to have the... Um, the foundations for exploring is so that we can get up and down very easily. So let's grab some plates. Let's grab some rods. And let's grab some concrete. And you can see how convenient it is to have all of the um, resources in the same place. We're going to need all this concrete because you're going to use concrete to build walls and foundations. And I'll show you guys how that works. Um, no, wrong thing. So we're ready to go. We're going to send up another shipment. Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure and improved overview. Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. So, we now have lookout towers, and we now have foundations, and we have walls. So, foundations come in three sizes. Let's see if I can put this somewhere flat so that you guys can see it. All right, uh, well, let's do it this way. There's the four meter height. There's the 2 meter height, if it'll let me put it up here. It's being annoying, excuse me guys, sorry about this. Uh, let's see, I usually put this on 6, this on 5, this on 0, this on 7, and this on 8. What happened? Why did 6 not come up? Sorry, I'm screwing up a little bit here, guys. Six. There we go. Six. Okay. So. As I was trying to show you, there are three heights to these things. 
4 meters, 2 meters, and 1 meter high. And the idea is that you, once you place stuff on the ground, you can then build up off of it as high as you want to go. And then you can dismantle it, take it down, and you get all the resources back. Okay. So one of the things I'm going to want to do is start putting down foundations pretty soon in our base. But before we do that, I want to go exploring now for real. And we have about 200 concrete. Let's get a little bit more, um, whatever it's made since. And we're going to use that to build our way up to things. So, for instance, there's a some kind of a sphere right there. I don't know if there's a way to get up there without building to it, but we can build up to that now. So we're going to start looking around and see what there is to see. So, when you go exploring, you always want to have a weapon. You always want to have some concrete to build your way in and out of things. You always want to have... Oh, almost forgot some, some healing. Berries or something. And you always want to have... Um, beacons so that you can mark places to come back to if you want to come back to them. Unless you're... If you're anything like me... Oh, I always screw that up. I mean to hit shift and I hit control. If you're anything like me and you get lost... Also, we now have a second hand slot, so now I can switch between beacons... and this, the tool. So let's look around here, and I'm going to grab as much biomass as I can. If I remember right, I think there was a... There was some sort of a uh, insect nest over here, I think, on this side. Right there. Trying to see if we can get up at all without having to build up. I mean, it's fine to build upwards, but if we can climb up, that always makes it a little easier. Here we go. Alright, so now we can put a foundation down. Right? Like that. And then, can we jump onto it? and jump onto it, right? And now we're up on this higher level. And then we can build a foundation across. And we're up here, and we now have this other work in progress. A summer sloop. And Ada should talk to us again. While we're waiting for her to talk, if you look over there, you see these termite mounds. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. Those termite mounds emit poison. So if we walk over there into the green clouds, it will damage us. So what I wanted to do was get up that way. I definitely want to do that and get up there and just see what's up there. Uh, let's actually leave first and then take this down. Okay. Which way do we come up here? There we go. We don't need to get up there again, at least right now. Let's go ahead and take out these termites. Or not these termites, uh, the insects. One more. Hit him once. Got him again. Okay, let's heal up a little bit. Okay. So now, this is a 
and a not yet exploited iron, right? Because we don't have a mine on it. And so I'm going to go ahead and mark it. And it's FE is iron. I use the chemical symbols just because it makes the words. I, you can see the beacon right there. If you type long words, it eventually gets very crowded. There's some limestone over here. That's good to know. Now, limestone, I abbreviate LI. LI is the chemical symbol for lithium. But the chemical symbol for limestone, which is like calcium carbonate, would, would just be too long. And so, just to make it shorter, I abbreviate it LI. And we got some barrel nuts and carapace. And uh, is this pure or normal? This is normal. So if it's normal, I just use the abbreviation. If it's pure, I, I put a plus, and if it's uh, impure, I put a minus. Oh, I picked it up. I did not mean to do that. And there's now there's two of them. I am screwing up. Sorry, guys. Pick that one up, and let's go ahead. All right, now we got what I want. There we go. And so we're going to slowly start um, marking the landscape. We're going to slowly start marking the landscape. I do not need ore, though. Um, and this will help guide me home when I get out, go out a long distance and that sort of thing. So let's see. This spot here, is this a river or a lake? So this is a river, it looks like. And there is another one of those... Um, works in progress. So this looks like the mouth of the river. And there is a spitter. I guess we're going to go fight him if I can get stop getting stuck. There's the spitter. Oh, you hit me. Oh, I'm not doing well on this one. There we go. All right, well, we got some barrel nuts here. We can heal up. So this is what? This is the very edge of... This is the beach, right? I guess I'll call this... River Mouth. Eventually we will rename these areas, but... Um, but for now... Now we want to get up there and get that thing. So let's go ahead and start our base for building. And then we're just going to use the slope, right? And you don't have to worry about actual structural support. I'll show you when we get down. There's no structural support at all for this. The game doesn't care. So we got another Mercer Sphere. So when we come down here, what you can see is there's no structural support under these things. If I take this away, and this away, and this away, right, it's just hanging in midair. The game does not care. It just lets you do that, which I actually think is quite good. Now, you can individually deconstruct things with um, by pressing F and then clicking the left uh, button, right, like that. But you can also deconstruct multiple things by hitting F, then Control, and then highlighting all of them and do it at once. 
All right. So let's keep moving. So there's this really interesting... What would we call that, guys? Like a rock shelf or something? These are rock pillars. There's a giant waterfall. Should we call that the Grand Waterfall? And when we mark it, we'll just name it that. This looks. This might be an interesting place for a base. I guess there's really no point of fighting these guys because they're going to just respawn. Unfortunately. Um. Let's see if we can go around them. Oh, there's tons of poison up there, too. It's really pretty. So I want to be able to put a beacon down so we know where this is. I'm going to call this... Let's call this the natural bridge, because it looks like a bridge going that way. bridge right and the idea is to just um, bookmark things so you know where everything is when you want to come back all right so I think we're gonna actually head back toward the hub at this point and collect a bunch more biomass the insects under the old game the way the old game worked I would go after all these guys and fight them because they didn't respawn and then you could just um, then the coast was clear from then on but since they do respawn there's really no point to fighting them and here is some sulfur which you can use to make explosives Data shows this is a mix of sulfide and sulfate minerals. It could be an indication of recent volcanic activity. A new research tree exploring volatile self-defense applications can now be accessed in the MAM. There's another spitter. It looks like there's some sort of a drop pot or something up there. But if I remember right, that is a big, powerful, much more powerful spitter. We're going to need a better weapon to try to take that out than what we've got. <clears throat> Looks like there's more sulfur or something over here. Not bad. And so my way of doing things is kind of to stay out until I've got my inventory completely full and then I go back, right? Once you're like starting to delete stuff off your inventory, then it's time to go back to me. So we're going to keep collecting biomass, and I'm going to head on back there. I think we're coming to the end of our adventure and coming to the end of this episode, guys. So I will keep collecting and head on back. And um, then we'll do some more exploring. I'm probably going to do a lot of that off-screen. I, when I come to an interesting spot, I'll bring it to you. I've kind of shown you guys the basics of how exploration works. So I will end this episode here. 
and I will be back with another episode in the near future when I'm ready to show you something new. Until then, I am Scarpalock, and this has been Satisfactory.